Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty, the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, welcomed the announcement that Saudi Arabia will host the Dakar Rally Race event, which will be held in the Asian continent for the first time. His Highness said that this step affirms Saudi Arabia's support for Saudi sports under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and that such events will offer greater incentive for Saudi athletes to continue to add more achievements to the country's records. His Highness said that just as Bahrain is accomplished in the field of hosting the world's foremost racing event, the Formula One, Saudi Arabia will also establish such a record and express pride in the deep Bahraini-Saudi relations. His Highness praised the efforts of the Chairman of the General Sports Authority, His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Turki Al Faisal, who His Highness said is keen to turn Saudi Arabia into a key player into the world of sports, as well as the efforts of the Chairman of the Saudi Motorsport Federation, His Royal Highness Prince Khaled bin Sultan Al Faisal. His Highness wished Saudi Arabia success and expressed confidence in its ability to organize the event well. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletic Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, over the victory of the Bahraini Olympic team and the Asian Games, where the team won 22 medals, 11 of which are gold, 7 silver and 4 bronze. His Highness said that the achievement is a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Bahraini Sports. His Highness praised His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad's keenness and interest in the participation of Bahrain in the Asian Games and said that the achievement reflects the wise leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the results will bring more optimism among the Bahraini athletes, which in turn will yield more sporting achievements for the kingdom. His Highness also referred to the efforts of the Bahraini athletes as progress indicators for Bahraini sports and that Bahrain's name is featuring prominently in the Asian and world sports. On this note, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the personnel of the Bahrain Olympic team at the Bahrain International Airport following the team's achievements of winning 22 medals. His Highness Sheikh Khaled congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa over the great achievements of the Bahraini team. His Highness praised the achievement and said that it represents Yet another addition to the long list of the Bahraini Olympic achievements, which have affirmed Bahrain's prominent place in international sports. His Highness added that the achievement came as a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness praised the level of performance of the athletes, who His Highness said have proven that they are capable of asserting themselves and the Kingdom's name on the international stage. The President of the Russian Republic of Tataristan, Rustum Menikhanov, held a meeting with the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, at the 11th International Economic Summit in Qazan between Russia and the Islamic world. Sheikh Abdurrahman conveyed the regards of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the Tataristan President and wished the people of Tataristan more prosperity and progress. Sheikh Abdurrahman expressed thanks and appreciation to the President for inviting the Kingdom of Bahrain to the summit where matters of mutual interest were discussed. For his part, President Mani Khanov sent his regards through Sheikh Abdurrahman to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, Bahraini Russian relations were discussed, and Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Muhammad gifted President Mani Khanov a book published by the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs entitled Loyalty to the Prophet's Virtues which discussed the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Bahrain's ambassador to Russia, Ahmed Abdurrahman Saati, was present during the meeting. The second iteration of the Machla Household Food Items Initiative took off under the patronage of the Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, as part of the charitable events that are being carried out before the arrival of the month of Ramadan. The event was supported by a number of groups and volunteers and was intended to ease the economic conditions of families. It involved visiting the families across the governorate and supplying them with the basic food provisions. <laughs> 